hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today guys i'll be sharing on a very interesting topic as you can see down in the title below trusting god in spite of your circumstances there are times when it's fairly easy to trust in god's love to rejoice in his salvation and to sing because he has been good to us i think of times in my life when i was overwhelmed by god's blessings when i could hardly believe how good my life was yet there are other times are there times when life is hard when sorrow fills our hearts when we wonder if god is even there for us in times of suffering and struggle can we still trust in god's love can we rejoice can we sing with gladness to him Psalms 13 answers these questions in the affirmative. If you only read verse 5 to 6, you might think that David, the composer of this psalm, was experiencing one of those times of obvious blessings. But, then there's that word but. It suggests a contrast between the trusting worship of verse 5 to 6 and the early portion of the psalm. Indeed, when we look back, we see that David is feeling forgotten by God. Psalms 13 verse 1. He is struggling with sorrow every day. Psalms 13 verse 2. He is seeing his enemies appear to prevail over him and he's wondering how long this will go on. Psalms 13 verse 2 to 4. But in the midst of his dis desperation, David pauses to confess his trust and joy in God. He sings to celebrate God's goodness. He is this. How is this possible? First, David thinks back to this time when God has rescued him in the past. Psalms 13 verse 5. He remembers that God has been good to him. Psalms 13 verse 6. These memories give David confidence to believe that God will rescue him yet again. Secondly, David remembers what is true about God, that which is true regardless of David's current experience. God has revealed himself to be a God of unfailing love. Psalms 13 verse 5. At times, it's hard for us to understand the ways God expresses his love for us. Yet the fact of God's love is bedrock for our faith. Indeed, for our very existence, this love revealed most clearly in the cross of, of Christ sustains us, encourages us, enabling us to trust the Lord and even to rejoice in the midst of hard times. Questions for further reflection. Have you ever found yourself like David, struggling with difficult and painful things in life, yet able to trust God and to rejoice in Him? If so, what helped you to have such faith and joy? If not, what does this suggest to you? What helps you to trust God even when your circumstances are negative? Gracious God, Thank you for David's honesty in this prayer. There are times when it does seem that you have forgotten me. Times when it feels as if you are looking the other way. I'm grateful for David's example of honesty with you. It helps me to speak truthfully with you rather than to put on a show our false religiosity. Thank you for David's example of trusting and rejoicing even in the midst of his struggle. Thank you for the times you have enabled me to have confidence in you, though I was going through difficulties. Help me, I pray, to be able to trust you no matter what to rejoice in your goodness. May I remember how you have blessed me in the past and may my faith in you be built on the bedrock of your revelation in Jesus Christ. 
today lord i pray especially for those who are struggling to believe who wonder if you have turned away from them help them to have confidence in you reach out to them in your mercy lift them up by your grace in your holy and precious name we pray amen